to our second topic, which is about travel. So, as many of you guys know, like travel is up, especially in the United States. Mm -hmm. So, one of the things that I found interesting was, you know, summer is a huge time to go travel. Summer is also like when everyone's on break, uh, college college kids are on break, uh, school's out for the summer. Mm -hmm. But interestingly enough, right now. Uh, prices are higher for flights compared to 2019 because everyone wants to everyone wants to travel right now so mm -hmm. domestic flights in the United States are 18% more expensive 18% that's, yeah that's a significant amount that's beating inflation oh, I didn't even think I didn't even think about that but you're right yeah. it is beating inflation so on average the on average a round trip in the US mm -hmm. is three hundred and twenty eight dollars. I actually thought that would be more expensive. A round trip across the United States? No, around just in general. The in average general. round trip in the United States is about three hundred and twenty eight dollars. Mm, okay. Yeah, that I don't sense. know. I felt like it'd be more expensive, but I think that's it must that's be because average. there's smaller trips. Like they're not doing like cross country ones like often. Yes. So, I also want to say that it's $518 to go, uh, on average, to go to Mexico. So, that, those are, that's the average huh. price. Yeah. To go to Mexico? Yeah. Any city? I think or just in the United like... States. So the oh, average. Yes. Okay. Um, so, hmm. to go to Europe, though, this was interesting, by the way. This is, this is uh, statistics from, like, a week ago. Okay. And... To go to Europe, it is eleven $1 hundred dollars, which I thought that was uh, on probably, average. Yes, on average, and that's up thirty percent from twenty nineteen. Mm. So I mean, it is a destination. Yeah. So like travel is up. Mm. A lot of these um, troubles up, especially in the United States. It's a lot higher than it was in previous years. It's higher than twenty nineteen. Everyone's getting out there. Mm. Um, the average time, by the way, to get your passport renewals. Mm -hmm is uh if you get it expedited it's like seven weeks seven weeks yeah i heard of a way to to expedite even more but i'm not saying it. oh my god actually so, it's been a while so if you stayed this long you get the top tip okay. so apparently this is, this is the trick is that you book a ticket to to anywhere right okay and then but outside the country and then you say that you have a um a trip overseas or whatever in, in like really quick mm -hmm. and then you uh, make an appointment or like you get like an emergency appointment what yeah apparently that's the fastest way that is crazy I did not know that yeah and then you can just go to the um, uh, embassy I guess and you just for mm -hmm. whatever and get your passport really mm -hmm. huh it's really quick that's crazy you know also another uh, part of this story too that I wanted to talk about is mm -hmm. because the delays have been so long people have been opting to travel domestically instead of internationally because of the delay really yeah so um, mm -hmm. a lot of people are traveling to popular destinations here in the US oh interesting which is New York makes ha sense. Hawaii uh -huh. And another place that I didn't know you didn't need your um, passport is um, Puerto Rico. Yes, Puerto Rico. You're right. I was yeah. very new. It was like <laughs> yeah. Guam. No, no, Guam. it's Puerto Rico. Yeah. So it's it's uh, a lot of people are going there because you only need your ID. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. At least in the United States. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, so I thought that was interesting. I thought that. Uh, just with the amount of pe uh, traveling people are doing, that mm -hmm. it's, um, especially, I wonder, like, I, I can understand why they're doing their traveling now, because everyone's mm -hmm. kind of been, like, not traveling within the past few years. Yeah. Um, there's also a different um, topic here about... But uh, I feel like another one that you didn't wouldn't consider is uh, fuel cost. So the fuel on the planes are also increasing in price because of gas prices have gone up between 2019 and now yeah so that could also have led to the increase as well or it, or it didn't help it you know no but the thing is too um this might be a this might be interesting for a different topic mm -hmm. but 
um, consumers because uh, consumers have the purchasing power at the moment to travel, which they, mm -hmm. which a lot of people were saying that because um, people aren't spending, because initially it was thought that people aren't spending as much, but they're just yeah. spending in different ways. And one oh, of the ways yeah. that they're spending is by taking vacations. Oh my goodness. I'm not even joking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, no, it's true. Got fun employed in time to get <laughs> oh my time God. to party. Mm. Cancun time. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, I think that's um yeah, I think that's it's it's interesting the consumer habits that have been changing. But it makes uh, sense. Yeah, I feel like another one is that um business travel has gotten up again too. So like before in 2019, like that was normal, but then like, uh, in addition to the um, increase in wanting to travel, there's also people probably traveling for business again. Yeah, I think that's pretty big too, especially with the people returning to office. Yeah, and people wanting to meet face, well, maybe not wanting to, but like management wanting people to meet face to face for stuff. Yeah, hmm. That is interesting. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think about that, but you're right. Yeah, that's, and I think that's probably what's accounting for the the short flights. Mm, yeah. yeah, like to increase between different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.